Uh, COVID-19 pandemic has uh, created a steady uh, stream of misinformation on social media um, and uh, from different websites and from different political leaders uh, across the globe. Um, could you share with us um, how COVID-19 has changed um, this information environment in Baltics? Well, uh, I think it's nothing. It's like a, not the news, but we can hear that there are two pandemics right now. One is this illness in the virus, and the other was this uh, disinformation pandemia or what's happening in our pandemics now. The main things like there is no virus, it was created by Chinese or by American. So you can see that the narrative, it's all the same. This misinformation uh, pandemic is also like developing wildly right now. So no, some specific uh, trends for Baltics. I would say that I have something like really that we are somehow special or uh, that there is something more specific. If, if you would ask me you now what kind of these messages are right now, then we can see that there are um, two types. One of them is uh, when uh, regarding uh, all the measurements which are governments uh, implementing right now and another one is regarding regarding covid itself like how do you treat should treat it uh, so you know this most one of the most popular example is that you should eat garlic or ginger or you should drink like uh, hot water every 15 minutes because according to people who believe in this virus stays in your throat but if you drink water each 15 minutes then it doesn't get down to your stomach so it means you don't get affected and then the other things are of course are people who are disappointed in some government restrictions or they feel threatened because of economic pressure and then there are all these messages which comes regarding this one and and it's everywhere we are we are not like something very specific regarding this but who's spreading this uh these messages about garlic or or hot water islam who are these people well these people are or uh, if I could say your usual uh, clients or usual suspects, it's also like not uh, anything like new. Uh, these are people who have been very active in disseminating different conspiracy theories also before. These are people who were very active before regarding like 5G conspiracy theories. And as you know, it was again picked up again one more time during this pandemic right now. And as we know, there are also consequences like in the UK or Netherlands, people were really like putting on fire these telecom towers. Then uh, is one part is very active is this anti-vaccine group people. Um, and then some very, very outspoken uh, populistic politicians. And what's interesting in uh, right now, what's happening that these people have joined forces. They are sharing each other materials. And it's quite effective because each of them already have like 30 or 40,000 followers or likes on Facebook. And when they start to cross share each other posts, they can get even more attention and, and get some influence. How can we recognize this uh, COVID-19 uh, false information or myths uh, people are sharing? Uh, you no, know, maybe in uh, your Facebook and my Facebook, we have different people who are who believe these messages and who are sharing them constantly. Uh, how can they um, pick and understand that this information is false? You know, you know that the biggest problem is that part of these people who are sharing, they don't think that this information is false, is false. And even when you tell them this information is not accurate, you know, this information is reshaped, reframed in a different angle, they will anyway believe because there is this part of, you know, society and it's always have been like that. It's like kind of nothing new. It's like only more active and uh, outspoken right now. And these people are, they believe in this so-called deep state which means that they don't believe in, in official organizations. They don't believe what health ministry is saying, what government is saying, what World Health Organization is saying, and what media is saying, because all media, according to their opinion, is we are bought, we are paid by big pharma companies. So uh, a priori, you cannot believe to media and like state institutions. That's why they uh, are very inclined to believe alternative information sources. And another thing why it's maybe more active right now is because of psychological and economical pressure. Because uh, what's the worst in all this situation is that we don't know when it will end. 
if there would be like some time frame, like we would know, okay, we have these restrictions, two meter distance now, it will last for one month or for two months, then people could would be able psychologically to prepare for this and live through these two months. They would know that they have to suffer a bit during those two months. But in this situation, we don't know when it will end. And the psychological pressure is so high that uh, these people are more inclined to believe in different alternative theories because they are looking for answers. They want answers. And our government is saying we cannot give you answer because we don't know. We don't know when there will be a vaccine. Uh, can people be get infected one more time? And that's why they go to these people, esoteric, astrologues, auras, seers, watchers, and they are saying, oh, we know. This is actually done because Bill Gates wants to earn millions and they will uh, create vaccine with which they will also implement microchips in your bloodstream and then that's how they are going to control it and uh, and that's why it's it's more flourishing right now.